everybody, welcome to another vlogging day. I'm getting ready to go to the captain's toast. The weather's been lovely today. So yeah, keep tuning in. Remember, my Q&A will be halfway through this video. You can check it out. And there's a lot of questions so far. I'm really excited to go through them all and hopefully give you all a shout out. All right, guys, so we have a change of plan today. We were supposed to get off in Grand Cayman. I'm just walking down the guest corridor right now. It's 10.30 in the morning. We finished our gangway operation, which was tender boats to the Grand Cayman. Well, I was gonna get off, but then we thought about it and thought, you know what, just got a couple of days left. We've done Grand Cayman loads of times before. And the only thing we were gonna get off for was for the Irish bar. So we've decided that we're gonna go for breakfast upstairs. And then we're gonna play some mini golf up on the deck. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna go for some breakfast just now. And I'll let you see what I'm having this morning. Look at this, look at this cool thing. It's a giant till alligator. What's going on? And this is what I got. Some French toast, some eggs and beans, and some bacon. The healthy option. <laughs> So here we are out on the deck, as you can see it is a lovely day in Grand Cayman. So we're trying to find, I've been on this ship now since February but I haven't seen the mini golf, where is it? Is it up one more? It's up one more deck. So we're going all the way up. Look at this cool little relaxing area. Right here, we're at the back of the ship. As you can see the aft. Hey sir! And eh, uh, it's gorgeous. Just finished uh, Crazy Golf, I won, which is quite nice. I always won at Crazy Golf. No, you didn't. And I, did, <laughs> I didn't win, I got beat. Uh, well, hello there and a very good morning. I have to be honest, this cruise, wow. The audience on board, I have had a dead party, I've had my Motown showdown, some of the craziest guests I've had. So I'm super excited for tonight. Um, as you can see over here, I'm in a casino. I'm not allowed in this area really, but I just thought I'd show you some of the, the flashy lights. We are so close to the 1,000 subscribers. It is unreal, we're at 850 nearly. We've got five weeks left to get to 1,000 and then of course we're gonna build from 1,000 to even more. And remember, just keep subscribing. If you do, all you do is you go on the YouTube page and just press subscribe. Just press the button. That's it, you don't have to do anything else. You are then subscribed. And remember, coming up in this vlog is the Q&A. We've got some amazing questions. I'm gonna try and get as many of them done as possible. I might not get them all done, but I'm gonna just pick some of the best ones from all the ones we have. So, keep tuning in. And uh, I'm gonna go and have a walk around the ghost ship. Ooh. Good Halloween! Woo! Yes, welcome everybody into the Encore Lounge and welcome to your vacation of a lifetime. Are we excited for a good cruise, this cruise? Woo -woo! Yes! Now, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mamba, and I'm going to let you guys know exactly what's happening. We want to make sure you absolutely have the best vacation, utilise your time, and have the absolute best memories that you can possibly make this vacation. So that little clip you just saw in the Burgundy Lounge was uh, my amazing Fun Squad member, Mamba. She wants to progress and hopefully in the future become an entertainment director. So this is something that she wants to do. And I was just going along to support her and watch her do her video. And she's amazing. So uh, if you ever get a cruise with Mamba, big thumbs up. She's an amazing team member and you are going to love her. Woo! We are here in Cozumel, Mexico. We're in the downtown area of Cosmel as you can see. Uh, over here we got the amazing uh, Norwegian ship, uh, one of the best. It's not carnival, we don't like it. So uh, welcome along to Cosmel. Uh, hopefully the sound sounds better today. I got a little wind jammer, I made it myself for the for the microphone to, to stop the kind of noise. Some sad news, we went to 
Hotel B, which was going to be a nice relaxing day. Kimberly's last port day before she goes home to the gorgeous weather back home in the UK. She's not happy. Uh, but we found out that when we got there, spent $16 on a cab, that it's fully booked. So they weren't offering day passes. So uh, I just want to use the internet today. I want to do some downloading. I bought a new program for my video editing, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, and I wanted to kind of try and get it up and running. Plus, I'm getting a new uh, computer to, to do my editing on. My Starbucks, slowest internet ever. And now we're looking for somewhere to eat downtown. We don't usually come at this part because we eat our boats away at the other end. So it's like 10 minutes away. But um, it's very busy. We've looked around, we've tried to find somewhere and we finally found an amazing Spanish delicacy. I love pizza. Oh, Kim's pizza is a Hawaiian with bacon and it's the size of a small baby's arm. It is so small. You happy? Might feel a bit too small. Compared to mine. That's a medium. I was gonna get a large. Mmm. Smile. Alright, Carnival Dream vlog viewers, welcome to the Q&A that I have been promising. People ask about my schedule, where are you going to be Chris, are you going to be here, are you going to be there? Some people even ask if I'm going to be on the ship in 2018. Now I can't jump ahead that long, but I can tell you this. I will be on this ship until June 4th. I will be here June 4th and then I go home for two months vacation, which I'm super excited about. And then after that, I come back here nice and fresh and ready to go on August 6th. And I will be on this ship from August 6th until December 3rd. But I will be back the 26th of January. That's when I come back. And as I said, from then on, I don't know what's happening because you, you don't plan that far ahead. But I know for the rest of 2017, I'm here on the dream. First question today I got was from the lovely Ethan Andre. Hi Chris, I was on the ship about four weeks ago and he wants to get back on. And he asked uh, loads of questions when he was here, but he wants to know what is my favorite thing to do when I go back home? I think it's just being home. It's really nice, you know, when you're away from the small things. And the small, when I mean small things, I mean uh, Netflix and internet, that's the small things. So I look forward to going back to the house, to my wife, to my family, and of course, to my man cave. Next question is from Tangela Bergs. Ted Chris loved you last week on April 16th and 23rd. You are awesome. Thank you very much, Tangela. I see you like comics and superheroes. Do you keep up with The Walking Dead? Ah, so The Walking Dead, when you mean the comic books, I don't really, I stopped a long time ago. I got one of the compendiums, it's like all the comics in one. Uh, and I stopped reading them when I got to like season five of the TV series of Walking Dead because I was scared I was going to get things and I was going to get upset and things but I do know that they follow two different paths. So I haven't been keeping up with The Walking Dead uh, but I have been watching the TV show. I'm up to date. I've watched all of season seven. Negan is probably the baddest person ever but an amazing TV show. But when it comes to comics I'm a DC man. I read a lot of Batman and Superman and uh, when it comes to Marvel I read Into with Spider-Man. So um, that's my thing but good question Tangela. Next question is from Flaming June. Is your wife also Scottish? No. She's English. Where do you live? I live in England in a little place called Rippenden and it's close to Halifax. It's the north of England. Then it's only like three and a half hours away from my mum and dad in Greenock in Scotland. And she says, how often is Kimberly able to visit and do you all keep in touch? She does get to come and visit. She's on board at the moment and she leaves at the end of this cruise. But then I'm home in like five weeks so it's like nothing. But she comes on for like a month at a time. Uh, when I do four months. So if I do four months on the ship, she stays for a month, which is nice. And we keep in touch every single day. We phone each, I phone her three times a day, first thing in the morning, then in the afternoon, then last thing at night. So I phone her every single day when I'm on the ship. So I make sure that I'm always in contact and Facebook as well. KC9 Music and your question is, how do you move departments from the singers to cruise directors? And also what you got, what got you into working on cruise ships? I would love to work on ships. Well, KC9 Music, uh, working on ships is amazing. Uh, one of the best experiences ever. But when it comes to moving departments from singers to cruise director, it doesn't really happen very often. Not a lot of singers 
have moved from cruise director because it's funny to say being a singer on a ship is a really nice lifestyle because all you do is you sing in the shows and then that is really it. I get bored so I, I look for outlets to do more things and that's why this position was was just amazing and I've been loving every minute of it. I've been doing it for just over six months and I wish I'd done it sooner. The moving departments it doesn't very ha happen very often usually you have to go through the the tiers and go from fun squad to cruise director. Moving from a department when it comes to like a completely different department to cruise director, it doesn't happen very often. So uh, I'm, I'm quite lucky that way and, and I'm just loving every minute of it. Next question, Kate Watson, what's your favorite animal? That is just the most random question ever, Kate. But if I had to pick my favorite animal, it would have to be a lemur. I love the lemur, I like their big eyes and they look really cute and they're always serious. Lemur? Slime Boy one love the name. Slime Boy one says, hey Chris, I want to know out of every place you went on the cruise, what is your favorite place? One of my favorite places I always talk about in my, my Q&A, awesome on board, is a place in America, it's Charleston, South Carolina. I love it to death. So cute and picturesque, and where you dock on the ship, everything is just like a stone throw away. If I had to pick other places, oh, I loved Venice. Not Venice Long Beach, but Venice, Italy. <clears throat> when I was on the Carnival Sunshine in 2013, we were docked in Venice nearly every week and it was just the most beautiful place. Jordan Thornton, Jordan Thornton's question is, do you like Cozumel? Yes, I do. Christopher Dion, Christopher has asked, where can I find more of your music? I caught a show on board the Freedom a couple of years ago. Yes, I was on the Freedom as a singer in the shows. Where can I find more of your music? Now, at the moment, all you can get is clips on YouTube, clips on Facebook, on my Facebook page, at Flying Scotsman CD. But there is stuff in the pipeline. When I get home, the new CD hopefully will be coming out as well as a new DVD of, of the Flying Scotsman show. And then of course, we've got these new Flying Scotsman t-shirts as well. I'm Ruthie Salter, and Ruthie's asked, as someone who would like to work on a cruise ship when I'm older, what advice do you have for me? Put it this way, the advice I would give to you is, literally enjoy every moment. Don't waste a moment when you're on board or when you, you know, you're off the ship because you're gonna get to see so much that a lot of people don't get the opportunity to, so, that's the amazing part. You will you will see so much of the world and it and it, it blows your mind. Remember though, you are living in a bubble. This is not the real life. You know, we some people stay on ships for so long that it becomes their life, but you gotta remember there's a life outside of a cruise ship. So always have that in mind. But working on a ship, there are so many opportunities when it comes to carnival. We've always got great positions available, all the way from the admin side to the performance side, and of course from your chefs and everything like that. So there's always a great opportunity but I do always say live every day like it's your last because eh, you never know you might not be able to do it again and this is something that you will really really appreciate in years to come I know I've been doing it now for with Carnival for five and a half years and there are times when I think back to when I started I wish I enjoyed some of the places I'd been to more because I've not been back since so just don't waste those moments and just enjoy every single day Amanda Champion. Amanda, Chris, do you ever exercise on board or are you too busy? Uh, does the crew have their own gym area? And also, does Kim enjoy video games? Thanks, you're the best. So first of all, do I exercise on board? No. Uh, I still haven't met this guy called Jim that everybody talks about. Um, we're not very close, but yeah, I'm just so busy that that's my exercise. If you've seen my events, cardio, that's it. I get my cardio workout. Crew have always got their own gyms downstairs on deck zero, but of course some crew members are allowed to use our guest gym as well. And does Kim enjoy video games? Not necessarily. She's a big Nintendo person, so she loves Mario Kart and anything with Mario and Toad. That's her favourite. So, um... I've got the new Nintendo Switch, so the new Mario Kart's coming out, so that's all fun. So she loves that kind of games, but anything that she calls shoot, shoot, bang, bang, she doesn't like those games, um, but I do. So, nice question. Carly Sip, and what is your favorite show on the ship? What is my favorite show on the ship? 
I would have to say Flick. There's an it's an amazing show, Flick, The Power of Motion Pictures. It's all the big songs from the movies and some of the set pieces. In the, it's just amazing. You will love this show. You come on the Carnival Dream, this show will blow your mind. And this cast on here, this cast, hands down one of the greatest casts I've ever seen live. So when you come to the Dream, it really is the Dream Team. And when you get an opportunity to see all the shows, they are fantastic. Flick, The Power of Motion Pictures, amazing. And final question today is from Emily Banks. What are your favourite and least favourite things about being a cruise director? Okay, least favourite things? Not really that much. Good thing is if you're a morning person, this job is totally brilliant for you. And I am a morning person. I, I, I'm like my dad. I got up nice and early in the morning and I'm ready for the day. But if you're not a morning person, this job will kill you. <laughs> because literally every morning you're up at the crack of dawn to start your day. And, you know, from announcements from 6.30 to 7 o'clock. But I enjoy it. So for me, I always make sure I'm up early to start my day anyway. Favourite things is literally just getting to be myself 24-7. I get to perform, get to sing, get to dance, get to entertain, get to see you enjoy yourself. That's probably the best thing about being a cruise director. And I'm really sorry to those questions that I didn't have time to answer. I was trying to get as much done. Uh, I will try and do another one of these and I will keep these in mind. So, uh, But thank you for tuning in and of course thank you for writing. It means the world to see all these comments. So take care guys and we'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.